the Cullen Davis trial, uh, they were there every day. Uh -huh. But that was like 20 years later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but they fell in love with Racehorse Hanks. I bet they did. That too. was why they went. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, it was a great trial, uh, and so you can, you know, you can actually be there and see these kind of things for yourself uh, while you're in court reporting school. Whenever you're at the courthouse, you know, during your breaks your summer breaks, school breaks, you can all go to the courthouse. There might be a good murder trial you might want to go see. You know, it might gross you out and say, I will never do that. That is not something I want to do. But you know what? You're not going to know until you're there. You know, you're just not going to know really where this career is going to take you, and it can take you many places. Uh, and that's, that's the fascinating thing about this career. Now, I don't see, let's see, who was here? Who asked me, Ms. Woodard, there was someone that had asked me about, they know they're gonna to go to court or boarding school, and they didn't know any of the details, what they needed to do, and I said, well, you were always here. Yes. And, um, I live here. So, uh, and, and so I gave them your name, but okay. I know that toward the end of this, we have, what, four more classes or three more classes? If you'll come to maybe yeah, the Yeah, I want to let you know that, that we do have, um, we were able to get the theory class for summer, which is pretty unusual. It is, uh, highly. Very unusual. So, uh, and Francis is gonna teach your theory class, so that'd be great. Um, and it starts June the 4th, so application needs to start going in. It's not, they're not posted yet, the, the classes have not posted, so you can't officially sign up yet, but you can officially get started. If you're not a student at Alamo College, there's a whole, Oh, yeah. Wonderful world of things that you have to go through. I'm putting that nicely, uh, but you can call me at any time to uh, to get help through it. But the website, if you'll just go on the San Antonio College website and go under admissions, it will walk you through uh, the steps. But there are a lot of steps, and you cannot wait for the last minute. The first of which will be if you have transcripts from any other college, make sure you get signed and sealed copies of those uh, of those transcripts and get them into admissions and records because that really kind of starts the whole process. The first thing to do is applytexas.org. Okay, applytexas.org. And you're not going to find on there court reporting. You're not going to find it. So just for a simple thing, just go for criminal justice. We'll change your major later. Okay, but criminal justice you'll find. So just go sign up for that. Go to applytexas.org. That's the clearinghouse for all the colleges and universities in the state of Texas. You do that first. Get your transcripts in. When you get notification from uh, them, it's about a four or five day waiting period. Uh, there's no yes or no. It just, you just It's just a process. Then you can start the application with SAC. Follow what's on the web page for how to enroll. Okay, and any way along the way, if you meet a, you're going to meet some, unfortunately, you're going to probably meet some people along the way that say court reporting. We don't have court reporting yet, you know. Or they'll tell you, oh, don't be enroll in that right now. Let's just start your math or your science or your English or whatever. No, 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 no. You'll enroll only in the court reporting classes, okay? Don't worry about anything else. So the summer session is at June 4th? June 4th, and it's a 10 week session. Oh, 10 weeks. And it's three nights a week. It's going to be three nights a week. Is it Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday? Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That's Monday, not Tuesday, too bad. Wednesday. No, she's going to push a lot into that because obviously we're short several weeks. And what was the time of that? The six to nine. Okay. Be six to nine. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So June 4th again to go for 10 weeks. Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday from Goodbye. 6 to 9. But there is going to be an online component to it because we can't meet the contact hours if we don't do some online stuff. But she will tell you all about that. Okay, so like your Thursday, when you really should be in class, she's going to have online stuff for you to do. So, and she's very good with, uh, so Francis is it's wonderful Thursday. with, uh, huh? Yeah, Francis is great with communication. So you will not be alone ever she will bug you to death, okay? But it'll be a good thing, okay? So if you're planning on doing that, go ahead and get the process started. www.applytexas.org first. I'll write that up here. And then after that, just follow the steps on the website, but call me at any time or email me. My email, I'll just put that up here too. Okay. <laughs>
so my email is Y'all want to make sure to email her because I understand it was a little difficult process to go into court reporting school. So you want to, if you're for sure going, you just need to make, do it as soon as, yeah, do it as soon it's as you, open as you can. And I don't know when they open register. Well, you can go ahead and, I think yeah. you can go ahead and get the www apply Texas. I think that's uh, doesn't right now. Yeah. The, the, the classes are not open. They haven't been published yet. We just got them in uh, last Friday, I think when I got them in. So, uh, I mean, we had to have them in by then. So, www.applytexas.org. That's the clearinghouse. And be sure you put something, criminal justice or something on there, because you'll not find court reporting for some reason. Thank you, Ms. Woodard. I'm Woodard. working on that one. Okay, so, but if you have any, any questions, problems, whatever, please don't hesitate to email me. I'll answer my email quicker than I'll get to my phone. I just don't get to my phone very often. Yeah. Many thanks. Yes. Thank you. And so she's your contact person, and she will be here probably the last two classes. I'm so if you have any tell-in questions and, you know, the rental of machines, I think somebody asked, well, you know, how do you get a machine? Yeah, that had, kind of thing. I had a person call me today about the machine. Okay, so, so there are rental programs for machines, and she actually has cards that she gave to the class last last semester, and she probably will do that this semester <coughs> also. So there are ways to get a machine. And the class that came from the A to Z last, they're doing great. Oh, good. So David, it works. David is uh, yes. So I asked. I just I asked Miss Johnson. I just asked her. Did it help any? I like. I'm very curious. That was our. Y'all are the second class. Yeah. Okay. The second class. We had a first class, and so, but it's the first class that went right into theory. So I'm very anxious to see if this well, class David helped. Well, they're doing great. That's good. Absolutely. That's really they're good. Absolutely doing great. Um. Well, I want to tell you. I'm going to lock the door. Okay. And then you put the lock block on, and then make sure the lock block when we leave. is off. And also, uh, Jessica, are you staying to the end? Um, I maybe. Okay. If not, just make sure that the uh, camera gets put under the desk, and also make sure that you turn that um, computer you off. To, you don't have to turn the computer off. Just turn the button the side, off. Make sure that you get red on that button. Okay. If you don't last week. It stayed on all week. Oh, I mean, okay. All, overnight. Yeah, Armenia probably And, and that, that burns up the yeah. lamp. Okay, okay. So All I'm right. going to lock the door, but then, the shirt, but, then the, but then put the lock block on. Okay. The lock block on. okay. Yeah, but just make sure the lock block's on. Because if not, I'll get this nice That's little letter one. again in the morning saying, I hope you didn't get it. I try. Y'all remind me before we leave and say, Mary, make sure you turn that off. And, you know that kind. Of, make sure the doors are locked. Okay. No, but I get them all the time. Allison, I'm going to have you sign in. Um, there's a few things I want to tell. Number one is congratulations. Okay, you made it to class. I will tell you as a court reporter. I will tell you that as a court reporter, you must make it to class. Okay, you must practice, you must. Okay, if you skip, like I told y'all from day one, if you skip class, you can do it, but you're gonna have to make up the time. Every time you miss, you're telling yourself, oh, that's one more day behind. I don't know about y'all, but time goes by so fast. Uh, I mean, it went by so fast for me, I had to buy one of those pop-up Christmas trees this year. Uh, time goes by so fast and I know when you're younger, you don't really realize it. But for you to come to class, just literally make it to cl the classroom is huge. Okay? It's huge. It's a big step. It means you're committed. And court reporter is about commitment. You have to be committed. You have to want it. The job is there for you, and it can be there as quick as you get out of school however long that will be for you. So it's waiting for you. If you can make a good salary from where you're at, whatever you're doing right now, if you can make a great salary the minute you pass that test and you've got that, whether it's a year and a half from now, whether it's two years from now, you want to get there. Okay? I would advise all of you to do it. As a high school student, you know, you might not be looking at it like that because you're doing, you're doing a lot of other things. But for those of you who this is your second career, it is worth it, okay? So you gotta, like, there's nothing I can impress upon you. Yes, there is online 
And I told y'all from day one, yes, there's online. You can do this online, but you must do it. You have to do it. So by getting you to class, some people, some of my friends, they don't work at home. They just would rather stay at the courthouse real, real late, you know, because they get distracted when they get home and they can't work at home. They might even go to the courthouse on the weekends and work because they can't work at home. It's all you. If you're that person that can focus and, and stay focused at home and practice, then online will work for you. If you are not, you must come to class, okay? This class that she said is three days, but court reporting takes seven days, okay? It takes seven. You might take Sunday off or pick a day of the week that you wanna take off, but you've got, to, you, you've got to take, even though class is three days, your practice time is double that. It has to be. Jessica, for those of you that don't know Jessica, Jessica, tell them how, how many hours you put in. Well, not at the beginning, because at the beginning, if you put a lot of hours in the beginning, you're just gonna zip. But when you're up there trying to get your speed up, remember I told you, you're gonna learn everything that first year, the first semester. So Jessica, tell them how long you practiced. Well, I would rather tell them how much I practiced at the beginning because that was when I was more consistent with practice. I was practicing anywhere from six to 10 hours a day um, in theory class. Um, but I was not employed that surprise. That was literally That's the only thing that I did was court reporting. Mm -hmm. So I was on my machine basically every second that I had a free second, living, breathing, thinking, so. Um, uh, my second semester and then on, it's more like four to six, depending. Uh, but as I um, became sick, it was more, I was spending a lot of time off of my machine, developing my dictionary and my writing and everything. So I spent probably two plus hours just working on my dictionary, on my writing mentally, um, and two hours on my machine as I could. So uh, it, it will be very individual. Some of you will pick up a little <coughs> faster, um, depending on your propensity for picking up on the steno, you may find you need fewer hours than others, but I would say the average that you'll want to aim for if you want to get out faster is four to six every day. So everybody's different, okay? Everybody's different, and that's what court reporting is, uh, is very individualized. This is Kenzie Benoit. She's going to be our guest speaker, but she's not going to talk to y'all until about 7.30. Uh, Kenzie, uh, just tell them a little bit about yourself. Just Okay, she's gonna help the class. Now, the last time I came to, the, to this classroom, it was completely full. So I'm a little disappointed, but I'm congratulating those that are here because I just told them what a commitment to reporting is. And number one is to come to class. That's your number one thing. So I'm really excited that y'all are here. Um, Arminia told me that we got to lesson 14, is that right? Yes? yes? Okay. Now, um, I thought I sent y'all so we're gonna start with the end, okay? That's where we're at, we're lesson 14. Kenzie's gonna go around and kind of watch y'all. If y'all have any questions, and Jessica too, if y'all have any questions or you're not getting the fingering or, or something, they're gonna kind of watch y'all because I can't see you. And so just to make sure your posture's on two feet on the floor, um, make sure, and the machine's close to you, your arms are parallel, you don't want the machine too high or too low, um, they're gonna be watching you, okay? You, you want to remember I told y'all from day one is you write with the fat part of your fingers, you don't flatten them out, and they're kind of naturally curved, okay? Um, so we're going to start with the end. Now this is kind of, the thing about, we're going to do a little bit of a warm-up just to kind of review you because we've done a lot now. And so you should know all this stuff, okay? So uh, Arminia did her job, and I know she taught you all this, so I'm just going to dictate a little bit of this and... Y'all follow along. And if I'm going too fast, just raise your hand. If I'm going too fast, okay? This is just a review. Here we go. Ah, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. Long A. A, 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 home position. A, 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 home position. A, 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 home position. Okay, initial B with your left hand. B, 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 home position. B, 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 home position. Final B on your right hand. B, 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 home position. B, B, 
B, home position. B, 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 home position. Initial D, your left hand. Remember where D is, okay? D, 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 home position. D, 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 home position. D, 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 home position. Your final D, stretch out with your little pinky for that D. D, 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 home position. D, 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 home position. D, 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 home position. Your vowel, shorty. Eh, 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 home position. Eh, 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 home position. Eh, 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 home position. Long E. E, 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 home position. E, 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 home position. E, 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 home position. Initial F, left hand. F, 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 home position. F, 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 home position. F, 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 home position. Your final F with your index finger, ready? F, 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 home position. F, 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 home position. F, 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 home position. Number five, 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 home position. Five, 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 home position. Five, 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 home position. Six, 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 home position. Six, 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 home position. Six, 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 home position. Initial G, 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 home position. G, 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 home position. G, 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 home position. Final G, 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 home position. G, 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 home position. G, 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 home position. Okay, initial H, 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 home position. H, 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 home position. H, 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 home position. Number four, 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 home position. Four, 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 home position. Four, 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 home position. Short eye, ready? Eh, 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 home position. Eh, 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 home position. Eh, 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 home position. Long eye, I, 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 home position. I, 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 home position. I, 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 home position. Initial J, 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 home position. J, 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 home position. J, 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 home position. Final J, 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 home position. J, 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 home position. J, 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 home position. Initial K, K. K, home position. K, 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 home position. K, 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 home position. Final K, 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 home position. K, 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 home position. K, 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 home position. Initial L, 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 home position. L, 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 home position. L, 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 home position. Final L, 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 home position. L, 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 home position. L, 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 home position. Number eight, 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 home position. Eight, 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 home position. Eight, 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 home position. Fifty-eight, home position. 58, make sure they're coming out together. Home position. 58, home position. Uh-oh. 58, home position. 48, home position. 86, home position. 85, home position. 65, home position. How'd y'all do on the numbers? Pretty okay? Okay, initial M. M, M, home position. M, 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 home position. M, 
M, M home position. Final M, M, M home position. M, M, M home position. M, M, M home position. Okay, how did y'all do on the review? Okay, when we learn a new letter that we're fixing to learn a new letter, okay, you wanna look at your keyboard, okay? If you hesitated on anything, any of that on the warm up, then do the warm up again. When you go home, go through the warm up just like I did and do it again. And if you stop on anything, you think, well, I don't remember how to write that. That means you don't have it down yet. So you wanna, you wanna practice that letter. Say you have the A right off the bat. You don't have to practice the A. But say you don't have a D, your left hand D, you can't remember what it is. You can't recognize the letters, okay? You can't read that steno. When that happens, that's what you need to practice on, okay? Kids. Uh, one thing that I would have to say is make sure that you're keeping your fingers <coughs> close to the keyboard. Um, sometimes your fingers have a tendency to bounce right back up, but it's gonna take you extra effort to get back down, so keep your fingers low and it will um, be less effort, I should say. That's one of the reasons they want you to go to home position because it automatically should keep your fingers there. You know, resting, basically. Like when I'm in the courtroom, kind of like when you're on a typewriter, except it's a keyboard, I just kind of rest my fingers there. It's just natural. And so that's why they want you to ride in home position to just train your fingers to stay close to the keyboard. When you make those strokes, you make them quickly and clean. Make sure that all, you know, all the little letters come out. Okay, if you're writing D, you need to make sure that that T and K are both imprinted on your screen or on your paper notes, okay? The great thing about paper notes or even your screens, you know, I told you all about reading back. Read back from your screen. Like if you were to do a warm up and you were looking at your screen, you're not gonna know if you're doing it perfectly until you read it back, okay? So unless, and you don't want to really do that while you're writing. So you want to go back and look and say, oh no, I'm not getting that. I, I see the K not coming up. You're not going to know it, okay? So you don't want to repeat an error continuously. You need to make sure you're writing correctly. So say you're not getting that TK, okay? That means your finger's not in the right position. Bless you. Thank you. Um, so, it's all the stuff coming from, from up here now that they turned the air on. I've been like this for days. Oh. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Oh, it's, um, I was just showing you know, the writing close yes. to the machine. Jessica, did I turn the, machine, the camera on? I did. Okay, good. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're going to learn a new letter. Okay, so, so this is when you want to look at your keyboard. Okay. Now, this looks really strange, I know. You know, to see the TPH here, okay, you're gonna write it with these three fingers, okay? Your ring finger, middle finger, index finger. From now on, those three letters there is gonna be an N, okay? Looks strange, but you've gotta see that as an N. So as I'm dictating this, look at your keyboard, or look at this keyboard, but stay focused on the keyboard. So you can imprint in your mind that that is an N, okay? Now, on your right hand, you know, it's the, that's the, your initial end sound, but on the right hand, it's your final end. Okay, and that's this PB. Okay, so you can write the word N, U, N, and that would be none. See? Okay, so once you have consonants and you have vowels, you can make words up. A lot of words. You can write R, U, N, and it's Run, okay? R A N ran, okay? N O. What do you think that is? Can anybody guess what N O is? No. Hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That's one you're gonna use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, they're gonna ask all these questions. You're gonna say no, no, sir. I can't remember. There's always. I don't know, that's always something they always say. I don't know, really? Uh, so, that's a very important letter, N. So let's practice the N now. Look at your keyboard. Um, remember to look at the chart and make sure you write it quickly and accurately, okay? Here we go. N, 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 home position. 
All three fingers, all those three letters must come out. In, 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 home position. In, 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 home position. In, 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 home position. This is your left hand in. In, 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 home position. In, three fingers at a time. In, in, home position. In, 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 home position. Okay, all three of those fingers, when I sit in, your initial in sound go down at the same time. T, P, and H. Okay, looks very strange, but you're going to from now see it, and steno is going to be an N. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Okay, look, kind of look at your screens, look at your paper notes. Sometimes it's hard to get all three of those letters in, okay? So kind of look at your paper notes, make sure that you got all three of them. It's just a matter of practice if you're not, okay? So just keep practicing until all three come out. Um, even I, when I'm, really, when I'm writing quickly, you know, I might not get all three, okay? So I try to be very accurate and try to get those three in because guess what? <coughs> if I didn't have, if I only had T and P, what would that be? Say I, I didn't get all three and I only got T and P. That's right. Instead of uh, no, I would have written foe, okay? So it's very, very important that that can make a huge difference and that's why you don't want to do that. So try to practice and make sure all three come out. Okay, now let's let's practice on the right hand. Okay, the initial, the ending, the end sound, end consonant of the end. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Ooh. Well, you know what? I moved a little bit quickly because I wasn't following my book. So before we get there, we're gonna stay on the left hand. Okay, and we're gonna do the B N L D. Do y'all remember how to write those? B N L D. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of just left hand tech, technical work. Here we go. Ready? B N L D. Home position. L N D B. Home position. D N L, B, home position. D, B, L, N, home position. So it's all with your left hand. D, N, B, L, home position. B, N, L, D, home position. L, N, D, B, Home position. D N L B home position. D B L N home position. D N B L home position. B N L D home position. L N D, B, home position. D, N, L, B, home position. D, B, L, N, home position. D, N, B, L, home position. How'd y'all do? You do pretty okay? If there's anywhere you're struggling on that, okay, because that was all your left hand, okay, and you see how it can make a huge difference if you don't get the right letters, because it can just be a total different word. Uh, so that's what you call practicing for accuracy, okay? 
So when you're first beginning, you want to be very, very accurate. Remember I told y'all, write it 10 times. Go through this lesson 10 times if you have to, so that you can be very equipped. When I said, D, you know exactly, you're, you know, you're not even going to be thinking. Okay? Once you don't have to think and think about, well, what is that? You've got it. But you have to think, oh, uh, what was that? You don't have it yet. That means you're going to have to practice. Okay? Because it's going to start becoming automatic. I know it doesn't seem like it will, but it will. Okay? Uh, and that's where you want to be. That's the whole thing about court reporting. It's, it's memorization, repetitive strokes, and being sure that you write it accurately. So now we're going to write the PB, okay? The PB is going to be with, look at your keyboards, okay? Your um, middle finger over the P and the B. Uh, sometimes I have a hard time, just me, myself, personally, sometimes I have a hard time getting that B. I'm just writing and that B is not coming out, okay? So make sure, I just have to put a little bit more pressure. I have to be uh, right on that. And so. Uh, when, when I say in, make sure the PB comes out together, okay? All in one stroke. Y'all ready? Here we go. In, 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 home position. In, 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 home position. Just with your right hand. In, 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 home position. In, 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 home position. In, in, in 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 home position. In, 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 home position. In, 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 home position. Okay, now let's, we're gonna work just with the right hand, just kinda like we do with the left hand with the in. Put the in in there, okay? So concentrate on these letters. Make sure they're all different, okay? And this is just technique. Here we go. With your right hand, everything's gonna be right hand only right here. Ready? F, N, L, K, home position. L, N, K, F, home position. K, N, L, F, home position. K, F, L, N, home position. K, N, F, L, home position. F, N, L, K, home position. L, N, K, F, home position. K, N, L, F, home position. K, F, L, N, home position. K, N, F, L, home position. F, N, L, K, home position. L, N, K, F, home position. K, N, L, F, home position. K, F, L, N, home position. K, N, F, L, home position. Okay, how'd y'all do? Was I moving too fast for y'all? Good, okay? Uh, just let me know. I can talk slower. Uh, okay, now, now we're gonna learn a combination of keys. And this is kind of really hard, I think, to dictate. I don't think they thought about that when I'm gonna dictate the ND sound. Um, so, say you had B-A-N-D. That would spell out band. Okay, so the ND sound like band, land, you've already learned L, land, uh, that's what you would use the ND sound for, okay? So does anybody have any questions? Those are some of the words that you're going to be writing with the ND sound. But for me to dictate it, 
Um, it's going to be a lot difficult. So I'm going to say ND and write it at the same time. So do you, does everybody understand you are writing the N and your, your pinky's going to the D and you're writing it together. So if you were to write the word band, you were to write B-A-N-D, band. Okay? So now, so let's practice that. Just kind of, that's a little different. I don't know if you've learned any combination keys yet, but hitting those two keys are a little different together. Okay? This is a combination sound. So here we go. I'm going to say ND real quick, okay? Just say, because I can't dictate that, so just hit ND together. Ready? ND, ND, ND. Home position. ND, ND, ND. Home position. ND, ND, ND. Home position. You got to stretch your pinky. ND, ND, ND. Home position. ND, ND. ND home position. ND, ND, ND home position. ND, ND, ND home position. It's this. ND, ND, ND home position. ND, ND, ND home position. ND, ND, ND home position. Okay. Now, one little letter, like I told you, can make a difference. So if I said bang instead of band, okay, you were right, B-A-N-G, okay? So this is another combination sound, okay? So it's N with your uh, middle finger and G with your lower. So kind of just hit that several times on your machine. N-G, just keep hitting it together. It's like a little weird fingering, but chord reporting is going to be all about weird fingerings. Kind of like playing a chord on the piano. That's what it's going to be. It's all about technique and being accurate, okay? So it's going to look weird, but your finger's going to go like this. So in order for you to write something like bang, you know, that's how it's going to be. B-A-N-G, or rang, R-A-N-G. You haven't learned the, that, uh, but we have learned um, the B, or dang. D-A-N-G. Dang. They say that in the courtroom. The, you'll hear it. They say a lot of words. Some are not too nice, but you'll learn how to write them all. Okay, so I'm going to say N-G, okay? So when I say N-G, <coughs> kind of do that fingering. Make sure you get that G because your, your fourth finger is weak. It's always going to be weak, okay? So you really have to concentrate on making sure that G comes out. Here we go. Ready? N-G. NG, NG, home position. NG, 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 home position. Okay. How are y'all doing? Okay. You okay? Okay. Um, it's is anybody, everybody feel okay? You can write for another hour or so. Okay, just move your fingers. Remember, don't move your wrists. Move your fingers. Okay. Uh, make sure you're sitting right, your posture's correct, feet on the floor, okay, because uh, one thing about court reporting, uh, you've got to get in right position, and nothing should hurt. Not your back should hurt. Nothing should hurt. You should be able to ride and ride and ride and ride and ride and just ride all day. You should be able to do that. And nothing should hurt. You should be tired, and what will be tired is your fingers are not going to get tired. You can just ride and ride and ride. But what's going to get tired is your mind, because you're repeating everything you're saying. Your mind's repeating it, okay? And that's what will get tired. That's going to go first. You know, you might be thinking about what you're going to have for lunch. You know, if they're going kind of slow, and you might not. You have no idea what they're saying out there because you're like on, you know, you're just like. You just, it's so automatic. You just write. You could be thinking about 
all sorts of other stuff. Don't even you can't. You might not even be listening to anything they're saying. But that's where you want to be because you're going to start. Everything's going to start becoming automatic. You're not even going to be thinking. I know that doesn't make sense to you right now, but it will. I promise you that'll happen. Okay. So now we're going to put all these little letters together and we're going to do words. Okay. Now what I will do is I'll kind of take them apart and I'm going to say B-A-N, ban. And uh, remember I told y'all that to practice this and to practice steno, I want to make sure that when you practice and you know those flashcards I told y'all about, <coughs> you want to practice with that side first, okay? You don't, you want to be able to read steno. Very, very important. You can't write it if you can't read it, okay? So you want to be able, on your flashcards, you want to start with that, B-A-N. What is that? Okay? B-A-J. What is that? Okay? That's what you've got to practice. You've got to practice how to read steno because you cannot write it if you can't read it. You've got to be able to see it. You've got to be able to see it in steno form. Not English, steno. Okay? So when you're practicing, make sure you're practicing your steno. Make sure you read back your steno. We're not going to take class time to do that. But if you can just read the steno, read from whatever we write in class, your notes, cut them up, take your notes home, and read them. Go back through and read them as though you were in class. It's the only way you're going to learn it. Okay? And it has to be impressed upon your mind how to read it. Okay? And there was a teacher that said he thought the quicker you could read that, the better off you would be because you wouldn't hesitate. That was his way of teaching, was being able to read that quickly. You should be able to say, okay, what's this word? You know, you, you should be able to say, cling, without me. And so if you stop and say, well, what is that? Okay, you don't have it down yet. Okay, so right now I'm going to say B-A-N, ban, and we'll do ban, okay? I might even try something that I didn't do with the last class. So to kind of make a point on why reading steno is very important <coughs> before you can write it. So let's go through these words. I'm just going to do them maybe three times. Okay? I have to look at my clock. Uh, here we go. Uh, ready? The first word is ban. B-A-N. Ban. Ban. I'm just going to do it twice. B A N D band band see the difference B A J badge badge B E K beak beak B E and D band band B uh -huh, slower yeah slower <coughs> okay yeah the words are the hardest is my understanding from the last class okay put you know the letters are okay but when you put it into words it makes it more it makes it harder so let me slow it down a little bit okay let's start with bend and see, this is a good, a good example of if you had an A here, it would be band, okay? So it makes a big difference that you hit just the E. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit, okay? B, E, N, D, bend, bend, B, E, N, bean. B, B, I, K, bike, bike, B, I, N, bin, bin, K, A, N, cane, K L E N clean. K 
clean. K H E K chick. Chick. K L E K click. Click. K L E N G clean. Clean. D E I mean E N G ding. Ding. D E N den. Den. D E N Dean Dean F A N Fan Fan F L A M Flame Flame F E N Fan Uh oh Fan <coughs> F I N Fine Fine F I N D Find Find H A N D Hand Hand H A N Hen Hen J A N Gen Gen K A N Ken Ken L I N Line Line Kenzie? Will you say the, uh, the long letters like long I and long A? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> M A N Man Man M a N men men M long A in main main N long A M name name N long A L nail Nail. N A B Nab. Nab. N A K Neck. Neck. N E L Neil. Neil. How'd y'all do on that? Now the words are very, very difficult, okay? Now, what I want to do that I didn't do with the last class, but I'm going to do with y'all, okay, is uh, we're just going to kind of look at the stand up, because this is what I want y'all to do when you're at home, okay? Uh-oh. Um, so, let's see if we can just start right there, okay? Y'all just read. Just Y'all go with me. Okay, we're going to read the left column. We're, we're all going to read it out loud, okay? We're not going to look and see what the English is yet. So... This is what I'm talking about, being able to read your steno, okay? Y'all read with me? Okay, you should be louder than me. Yes. Imagine that. <coughs> okay, here we go. Check. 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 Okay. Cling. Cling. <coughs> One, two, three. Dan. Dan. I'm going to say one, two, three. Y'all tell me what the word is, okay? I'm going to say one, two, three. And y'all tell me what it is. You get three seconds to... Figure out what the word is, okay? Here we go. Ready? We'll start over. Don't look at your books. Look up here. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Check. Check. One, two, 
three, clean. One, two, three, dead. One, two, three, fan. Okay. One, two, three, fan. One, two, three, find. One, two, three, hen. One, two, three, hen. One, two, three, man. One, two, three, man. One, two, three, nail. One, two, three. Neck, neck. Okay, so if you stopped on any of those and you couldn't read it, you can't write it. Okay, you can't. There's no way. Because you don't know what it says. Right? So, get my point. You have to be able to read it. Because you can't write it if you can't read it. Uh, let's do this. because we. And granted, you haven't practiced it, right? This is a new letter. Okay, so you... This is new to you, okay? So uh, we're just introducing this letter to you. Like, how can you remember that that quick? Okay? I tell y'all also, um, throughout my entire theory class, I read back every single thing I wrote in class and afterwards. Everything. I was, I was meticulous. <laughs> so that's what you want to do. You want to read back. Let's do the other. Let's do the, the right-hand column, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. I thought I would hide that, but you know, I can see the letters, I can see the words. I can't, I can't figure out how to hide it. Uh, okay. Well, y'all don't cheat, okay? Here it goes. We're on the second one. One, two, three, D. One, two, three, D. D, okay? Remember, TK is D, long E, N. Okay? The next one. One, two, three. Uh huh. That was kind of tricky, okay? Because at first you see the TPH, right? That's what you see first, and you think, oh, we just learned the N. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We did. We just learned the N, and it kind of like, oh, that looks like an N. But remember, we learned combination keys. So it's FL. Okay? So it's. You don't even see it. I don't even see it as an N. If I'm reading Steno, I'm looking as a combination key FL. Okay? So I can see how that might have thrown you off a little bit because we just learned the N. Okay? So let's go to the next one. One, two, three. Hello. Fine. 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 Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do that one again. Okay? How can you tell that's fine? F. Long I, N. Now we did just learn the P, PB as an N, remember? That's fine, like that's fine, okay? Let's go to the next one. One, two, three. Hint. 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 This is an easy one, why is it easy? Well, H is H, A is A, and D is D. The only thing you learned today was PB is N, right? Okay, so you substitute the N right here, and you have can't, okay? Okay, everywhere you're going to see that, that we learned today, M-E-N, remember, see? It's the same stroke, and it's going to appear the same place in your steno machine. It will always be an N, always, okay? So if you were to doing substituting letters and you were going to do that, well, you would, I would just put a big old N over that. That's how I learned steno. Okay? If you had a B in front of it, it would be band. Okay? So you've got to be able to read this. Now, the next word, remember what this is? S-K-W-R? J. J. Remember it was a J? But it's a J sound. Remember, court reporting is all about phonetics, how things sound. It's not a G, it's a J, okay? So it would be Jen. We just learned that, okay? So let's start there with the word fine. One, two, three, fine. Hello, are y'all there? <coughs> fine, okay, let's go to the next one. Hand, hand, hand. Okay, one, 
two, three, ten. One, two, three, line. Remember the HR is L. Okay, long I in. The next one. One, two, three, men. Men, okay. The next one. This is one we just learned, the TPH. One, two, three, name. This is an N. Long A, M. Name, okay. If you have to, pencil it in. Pencil it in. Make stickies. Put that, put in a little bracket, that is an N. Okay, if that's what you have to do when you're reading, still do it. Because it's all about remembering it, okay? So the next one, <coughs> one, two, three, nap. 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 Yeah, that's right. That was an easy one. Once you can recognize this as an N. Okay, the next one. One, two, three, nil. Okay, good, okay? Uh, let's just write that now. I'm just gonna say it one time, okay? Because this is how you learn steno. I'm gonna just go back, just start up there with jigger. I'm just gonna say it once and I'm gonna go slow. Okay? But that is what you wanna write. You wanna learn this part first. Okay? So here we go. Ready? You're gonna write this. K H I K Chick. Chick. K L I K click click okay we're over here K L I N G sorry clean clean D E N G ding ding D E N den den D, long E, and D. D. F, A, N, fan. Fan. F, L, long A, M, flame. Flame. F, E, N, fan. Fan. Look at that F. Here's another F word. F, long I, and fine. Fine. F, long I, <coughs> and D, find. Find. H, A, N, D, hand. Hand. H, A, N, hen. Hen. J, E N Jen Jen K E N Ken Ken L long I N line line M A N man man M A N men Men. M, long A, N, main, main, N, long A, M, name, name, N, long A, L, nail, nail, N, short A, O, B, nap, nap, N, A, K, neck. Neck. N E L Neil. Neil. Okay. So when you're at work or wherever you are at, or you're having lunch by yourself, or whatever you're doing, take your flashcards out. All of these words here should be on one side. Just one word per card. Okay? <coughs> Go through those. Read this first. You have to see that as an M. You have to see all the letters and combinations as what they are. Okay? 
Uh, that is the best way to learn your, we're learning the alphabet, but when you go from here and you go to court reporting school, you're going to learn what they call theory. Steno theory, that's what it's called. It's kind of like music theory. You start learning letters on the keyboard and chords and all that. It's the same concept. It's, it's the foundation for everything you're going to do in court reporting school. The rest is speed. Does anybody have any questions? Any at all? Y'all are very quiet. Uh, so, you know, you can ask me anything. Uh, okay. Well, let's, is that, are we on lesson 15? Great. If we are, yes, we are. Good. Okay. That's a good thing. Okay. I wanted to try to do four lessons today. Okay. So, let's go on to lesson 15. Okay. Now, um, we, uh, remember I told y'all court reporters about how things sound, okay? So, the O is, is, the O is where you did thumb, okay? And so when we have a short O, like, uh, lot, L-O-T, lot, okay? That is a short O sound. When it's a long O, like, um, let me see if they, if, if they uh, toe. Toe. toe, okay, you would hit T-O-E, toe, okay, so like hot, that's a short O sound, right, it's H, just like it's spelled in English, hot, H-O-T, <coughs> lot, like a lot of stuff, lot, L-O-T. So that's the O sound, the short O sound, okay? So that's what we're going to start writing right now, the short O, okay? So I'm just going to say, um, what would be best for me to tell y'all short O? Should I say short O or do y'all want me to say ah? Uh? Ah, uh, okay, like hot, lot, okay? So here we go. And just write it with your thumb. Make sure you don't hit the A and make sure, sure you don't hit an E. Okay, because that's a whole different thing. Okay, make sure it's just the O and it's with your thumb. Okay, here we go. Ah, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. Just with your thumb. Ah, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. It's your left thumb. Ah, 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 home position. 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 Okay, so I am. If y'all following the book, I'm on page seventy-five. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the difference, you know, in, in case you're wondering, well, what's the O sound? Well, here are some examples of, of like cot, coat. See the difference in sounds? Okay, long O sound like coat, <coughs> dot, dot, mop, mope, not, note, tot, tote, non, no, no, got, Goat, slop, slope. So see the difference in sounds in core reporting, like I told y'all, you might not know what they're talking about. It might be something that you've never even heard of. But you write what you hear. You can always find something. Just write what you hear. They'll throw out case law to you, some case you've never heard. You just write the sounds that you hear. And so that's why they're teaching you these long vowels and short vowels, because it's all phonetics. As long as you can write what it sounds like, you, we, can, we can find the spelling, correct English spelling of what that case is. Okay, so now we're learning a new uh, long O sound. Um, and remember that double opposite rule that we learned earlier. You combine the, uh, the O with the E. Um, it's the one exception because you only have one letter. Remember we always said the two vowels? Makes it long. Like, remember the long uh, A, it was A and E-U together? Well, the only one it doesn't work on is the O. 
And so what you have to do is just hit the E. So you will hit the O-E together for the long O sound for goat. G uh, o e t goat note n o e t. If you didn't have that, it would be not n o t. So see, it makes a difference. So the long o in corporate is the o e together. Okay. So let's practice that. Now that means both of your both of your thumbs are going to be hitting o and e together. Okay. Here we go. And I'm just gonna say o, but I mean long o. Okay. O o O, home position. O, 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 home position. Look at your keyboard so you can kind of look at the keyboard so you know exactly where your fingers are going. It's your thoughts. O, 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 home position. 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 O, 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 home position. 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 Okay, now I'm gonna go from the A ah sound to the long O sound. So I'm gonna go A, ah, O, A, ah, O. That's, what, that's the way I'm gonna dictate it. When I say O, oh, you hit O and the E together. Okay, ready? Ah, 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 home position. O, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. O, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. O, 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 home position. Ah, ah. Ah, home position. O, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. O, 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 home position. Ah, 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 home position. O, 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 home position. How'd y'all do? Okay. Now, that's easy when you're just doing the vowels, okay? But what gets a little <coughs> bit more difficult, as you know, is when you make words out of all that, okay? So I'm gonna take this slow. Uh, remember what I said about looking at the steno. So look at that word in, own, O-E-N. We just learned the N, the last sound with the P-B, the N. So now we learned the O, so you put that together, the word own, okay? So if you were just to read that side, anywhere you see the N here, what would this be? Bone. Because we learned the B was PW. So if you were to put a B right above it, long O, and you were to put an N above that, like say you take a pencil and you did that, okay? Then you, you could read it, bone. So you could do that. You can write in your books, you can put that, you know, put a N right there, okay? Just so you can read steno, okay? Uh, because eventually you will recognize that it as an N. Okay? So I'm going to take it kind of slow because see, you can see the N right here. K, long O N, cone. Okay? So we learned this is a G, G O N, gone. It's just how it looks. G O N, gone. Okay? Oh, that one's easy. Right? You, you should be able to read that just looking at it. H and O-E, O-E we just learned was the long O sound, okay? L-O-N-G, just like it is in English, long, okay? Because you learned the L, that's the N, L-O-N-G, okay? L-O-J, we learned that's a J, so it's lodge, okay? Um, M-O-K, mock, okay. So, does anybody have any questions? I've got a question. Okay. Um, the vowel, it just separates the initial from the final consonant? Yes. You look at it that way? Exactly. Okay. Rem okay, remember, we have initial consonants, left <coughs> hand. That's exactly right. So you're just putting letters together to make words. Okay? 
So yeah, here's the initial sound. Remember we have a G on both hands. But the one on the left, the first initial sound is the one that's gonna have the dash to the right of it. G, to make words in English, English words have vowels, okay? They all have vowels. So you're gonna have left initial sound, G, your vowel to make a word, and then the last ending. So say if it was D, it would be G-O-D, God. Okay, now take the O out. Say you can see the G and you see the N, right? What if I put a U? What would that be? Gun. Exactly. What if I put a I? Gin. Like gin, G-I-N, okay? What if I put a, okay, let's take a, Okay, what if I took the G, G off, okay, initial L, O, N, would be lawn, lawn. okay? Um, right here, what if I took the G off, okay? The initial sound, the first one is M, what would that word be? Mom. Exactly, mop. So anything to the left of the vowel is the initial sound. Anything to the right of the vowel is the uh, ending consonants, okay? You have consonants on the left, consonants on the right, vowels in the middle. You put, cons you, it sounds, you put consonants with the vowel makes the word. Uh, say I took that out, what would that be? Cod. Say I, cod, like the fish. Okay, because I just, but with the E in, it's a long O sound. Okay, um, what if I, um, let's see, what if I take that off, what would that word be? Clock. Clock. Okay, see it's K-L-O-K, but with the, with the E in it, it makes it for a long cloak. But see, I didn't have the E and it was short. Then it would be clock, okay? Um, let me find, let's get an, one more word in here, okay? So is it kind of like making a little bit more sense? What if I took that out? Hog. That's right, hog. But with it, it's log. Because this is HR, initial consonant. Y'all learned that was initial yeah. consonant L, okay? Uh, let's take another one. What if I, uh, okay. What is that word there? Initial consonant is a B, Bob. right? You first have to see the PW as a B. Bob. Bob. Right, that's right. What if I did, um, let's see. Let me do one more. Oh. Yeah, what if I did that? Pop. Right, <coughs> pot, okay. Um, what if I did that? Lod. No? Nope. That's right. Someone might say modern, you know, and you get some witness up there say, I'm mod. You what? Mod. I don't know what she's talking about, but I'm writing M O D. Okay? Mod. Okay? But if I if you write that, it's not. Okay? So does it make start making more sense? This is how you put sounds together. Say it's some chemical or something, and uh, all I know is the first syllable was fod. Say it was fondicular or something, okay? Say it's that difficult to word. Well, I, I heard fod. The very first syllable I heard was fod. So I would write it like that, okay? Okay. Are there any questions? So that's how you read Sino, yeah. Starting to make sense, initial consonants, then the ending, and put the vowel in there makes a word. And the vowel is very important because say I had, um, let me see, let me do another one. Say I had uh, here, I put, uh, let's see. Uh, remember, you need vowels to make words. Let's see. Well, say it was just that. O-E-M. It would be OM. O-E-M. Why would that be the word OM? It's a syllable. 
because it's log O M. Oh. That's what you heard, that's what you wrote. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Are there any questions? So let's write some of this, okay? Now, just remember what it sounds like, okay? Odd. The very first one is odd. Boy, that is very odd looking, okay? Odd. <clears throat> okay? Well, it's just like it's, it's, well, it's not exactly how it's spelled in English, but looking at it, O-D, it's just like it sounds odd. It sounds odd, okay? Okay, so let's, I'm going to take it slow. Uh, let's start with the top here. Ready? A-D, odd. Odd. Long O, K. Oak. Oak. Long O, N. Own. Own. You see the difference between own and oak? It's a K and an N. That's the difference. It's a sound. Okay? Let's go on to bold. B. Long O L bow bow <coughs> B A B Bob Bob B Long O that one's easy bow just like it sounds bow B long O the next one just put an N behind it and it will become bone. B O N bone. Bone. C, I mean, I'm sorry, K L long O K cloak. Cloak. K long O L. Just like it sounds, cold. Cold. Just K long O M comb comb <coughs> K A D cod short O cod long O K long O D code code K long O N just like it sounds cone cone D long O do do if you put a B in front it would be bow right but this is D D long O do do F L long O Flow. Flow. That's a combination. It's not an N. Okay, this is a little tricky. It's not an N. It's F and L. FL. Like flood, flow, flu. Okay? Okay? okay. FLU is flu. Okay? So it's the F and the L. You, you, you got to see it as two letters. You got to recognize the F and the L and the long O. Flow. If it was flu, guess what? It would be F. L U, flu, like the flu, okay? So let's go back to flow it, because it looks strange. This is what you need to practice right here, the FL. <coughs> Those are the hardest, the two little, uh, <coughs> but they have combination keys. Here we go. F, L, long O, flow, flow. G, look at it as a G. All in, gone. Gone. You got to see that as a G. You can't write it. Okay. G. Here's the G. L. Long O. Glow. Okay. Glow. This is easy. H. Long O. Ho. Ho. H. Long O. M. Home. Home. L O N G long long okay 
We're over here. L O G. Log. Log. L O J. Lodge. Lodge. That's your ending J, okay? L long O N low. Low. This is an M. M A K mock. Mock. Okay? N A D nod. Nod. They take the same M. N long O D node. Node. Okay, say if I had an N on a long E, what would that be? Say I put A O E D and it's need. Okay, so you see how you can just change one vowel and it can make a big difference? Uh, so, are there any questions? Okay, we're going to take a break now, and then we're going to have Kenzie tell you a little bit about her story. Y'all can go down to the restrooms, get you something to drink. Let's take 10 minutes. Uh, if y'all have any questions, come and ask me, ask me anything. Um, I'll be happy to try to answer any questions. Um, I told y'all a little bit about my case when y'all first got here. Um, it, it was an exciting case. It's one of those cases that you don't hear too often because it was the case of a body being uh, stolen and lost. That was the issue. Uh, and so it was a very interesting case. Um, what made it really great for a court reporter is when you have great uh, trial lawyers, and they were all great. When you have great trial lawyers, um, it's great to work with them because they know what they're doing as far as making a record. Because, you know, I don't make the record. You as a court reporter will never make the record. Okay? We take the record. Okay? So say they don't know how to make sentences or they're making up words, which they will. They'll make up words. They'll put an ING on something and just make up a word. You've never heard it. You were not even going to find it in a dictionary because you know what? They just made it up. So that's what they'll do. But we have to write what they say. So I don't ever make that record. They do. I just take it. So as a court reporter, when people know how to make sentences, real sentences, and they have periods and question marks, it's so much easier for us to write. When they, they stutter or they don't know what they're going to say, and then I go, oh, oh, well, you know, it's very difficult to write. So when I say great trial lawyers, that's exactly what I mean. They know how to make sentences. Um, they're, they're, they know that they, to, to not read so fast or talk so fast, because an attorney, usually they talk real fast. They're new. They're very nervous. Very few of them really talk really fast. Most of them, you can tell it's a very young lawyer because they're very nervous. And so they'll talk so fast. Uh, uh, most lawyers that have been up in front of a jury, they won't talk fast. They even practice talking slow. Why? Because when you talk slow, you're a lot more effective. A jury will hear you. Okay? It's almost like I tell all attorneys they must go to drama. They must have acting classes, okay? Because when you're trying to sell your case and convince 12 people in that jury box to see things your way, because that's your job. Your job as a lawyer is to advocate for that client. And that's your job is to make sure to convince them. So you want to be very effective in how you present your case. And so that's the kind of case that our court reporter loves. Uh, so are there any questions? Do you have any questions? Um, does he, anybody want it? Fanny would, Fanny's here. So that's all I saw uh, somebody go to the restroom. I got a question. Okay. Um, the summer school that's going to start June uh -huh. the 4th, is that just one class that we'll be taking? It'll be theory. Okay. Okay. Now, they've never, as far as I know, have taught theory in the summer. Uh, but they're doing it for you because um, instead of you waiting till September, if you want to go to San Antonio College and enroll, that's a long time from now. We're in what, February? Okay. You need to stay on your machines so you don't forget this. It's like a second language. Well, it is a second language. And so you want to stay on your machines and keep abreast of that. Uh, and so they don't want you to wait till way September. And in order for them to have a class, there has to be enough people to enroll. The college just can't do that. 
Um, you are our second A to Z class and that kind of helped their enrollments. So um, we're going to have another A to Z class uh, come at April and it'll go from April to May. So with the combination of this class <coughs> and that class, there will be enough to have a class for September. They already know they're going to. They've got enough feelers out there and enough calls of people that have called that want to sign up for theory. And because of that, they are going to do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday class. Okay? Now, for those that skip that, you know, you can wait till September. Okay? Now, there is a lot of schools. San Antonio College isn't the only school that you, you need to go to. There are schools online. Say you don't want to go to San Antonio College. You want to go to another school. Go to ncra.org. They have a whole bunch of schools online that you can see. Uh, but as I told y'all, okay, if you try to do this online, okay, for me it would be a little harder because I'm not very focused, okay. Uh, if you can't get that by now. Um, so for me, online would not work for me, okay, because I have to stay very focused, okay. So I have to concentrate and for me classroom is easier for me. I learned that in Weight Watchers. I had to go to Weight Watchers class because if I skipped a class, well, I didn't get the motivation I needed. And that's, I didn't talk to y'all about motivation, but that's like very important in corporate school. And I don't know, it's been a long time. It's been two weeks since I've talked to y'all and I don't know what all I told y'all on that first week I came and met y'all. But you're gonna fail in court reporting school, okay? You are, you're gonna fail, okay? You're gonna fail, 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 and you're gonna practice, 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 and you're finally gonna reach that speed. Say it's 60 words a minute. You're finally gonna get it, okay? Well, guess what? The next one is 80, that's your next goal. 80 words a minute. Guess what's gonna to happen to you? You're gonna fail, 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 and you're finally gonna reach 80 words a minute, okay? Guess what? The next one's 100 words a minute. You're gonna fail, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail, you're gonna get 100 words a minute. You're gonna go all the way up to 200, 225 words a minute. And you're gonna look back and think, oh my gosh, remember when I was struggling at 60 words a minute? Okay, so your classmates will be your soulmates for life. Why do I say that? Well, because you have to pep each other up. You're gonna, your best friend that you have in court reporting school is gonna be your best friend forever because they're gonna support you. You have to have a strong family. If you're married, uh, your spouse, if you had kids, they're going to have to support you going through school because it's not going to be easy. You might go all the way to 200 words in a minute and it's going to be very easy. But somewhere you're going to get stuck. You know, you might just go straight through. There's going to be a point that you're going to get stuck. Uh, and like in Weight Watchers, they call it stalling. You stall. Well, you can stall for a long time. You don't know. But it's going to be your classmates uh, the motivation that you pick up from them, you can do it. And I'm telling all of you, you can do it. You, all of you can be court reporters, but it's gonna take that motivation to get you there, okay? It's gonna take that to get you there. You will get there, you want it bad enough, I wanted it bad enough, okay? I knew what I wanted when I was in school, you know, after I got my music degree and all this other stuff, yeah, really, I did? I mean, I should have been a lawyer, okay? So I was just like this, but when I got to court reporting school, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I knew I had to do it in a certain amount of time. Okay, because I already spent five years in school. Okay, so I was very motivated. And so that's what you're gonna have to do. So yes, you can do it online, but if you're gonna do it online, read motivational books. Because you can, one of the books back from a long time ago, there was a, a back before we had a lot of other good, great speakers that we have now. Uh, but I was written, I would read anything by Ziegler uh, and uh, Norma Vincent Peale. And there was one book that I would read. You can if you think you can. That's all I read from it. I just read like the middle. I wasn't very good in school when I was in literature. I, I, would, I would be that person that read the beginning and the end and get cliff notes when I was in college. Okay. So what I wanted to read to motivate me, one of the things I learned from Norma Vincent Peale is you can if you think you can. If you think you can't do it, guess what? You're gonna struggle. But what you're gonna to have to tell yourself from the get-go is, I can do this. I know I can do it. If I did it, you can do it. 
okay? And that's what you're gonna have to read, you either read, and now with the internet, and you know, you can see, I mean, Kenzie here, she's really good on, on internet stuff, and Facebook, and social media. She knows all about, I don't even know where she finds all this stuff, and you are young. So you probably are just like her, and that's why I have her coming here to talk to you, to y'all, because you could probably Google something and find what I'm talking about. Uh, very encouraging words is what you're gonna need. Okay, uh, and that's gonna, that's what's gonna put you over to say, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, so that you can get your speed and go to the next break. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but that's a big part of just not the skill, but it's how you think, okay? And you have to stay very positive, okay? You cannot go through court reporting school being negative. You can't, okay? Because you'll keep telling yourself, I can't do this. That is too hard, um, okay? That's what you're gonna tell yourself, your mind. So you gotta train your mind to thinking positive. I can do this. I wanna do this. You want some motivation? Go to the courthouse. You know, go look at something. Go spend some time with the captioner. Right now the captioners are doing the rodeo. It's rodeo time. Guess what? Guess what they're doing? They're riding the rodeo. They're out there right now. They're doing it for two straight weeks. And court reporter's sitting there with her computers and she's writing everything they're saying, even the music, even the lyrics to the music at the rodeo. So if you see any of that stuff, it's all court reporters doing it. Are there any more questions? Okay, our 10 minute break is up. We're missing somebody. Oh, Nora. Um, I don't want them to miss you um, because Kenzie is very vibrant and very, talk about positive. This is the go to person, okay? And she lives here now. We're very lucky. She hasn't lived in San Antonio very long, but she has lived here. Uh, and we're very lucky to have Kenzie here because she's a national speaker. She not just speaks statewide. Where are we, San Antonio? Not just locally. Not just statewide, but Kinsey talks nationally. She literally goes to our national associations. I can't even tell you how many uh, national conventions that I have seen her. In fact, probably the first time I ever met her, she, well, she was at a national convention, okay, as a speaker right out of school. That kind of tells you right there what kind of person she is what kind of motivational speaker she is because she can speak all over this nation and motivate reporters and students and get them to see things how why this is a great job okay so you're very lucky to have someone like Kenzie here uh, and I want to bring you some other young reporters um, so that you can see hey this is they did it, they just got out of school. Well, not just they, time goes by fast. Uh, but that's why you wanna hear from people like Kinsey. And you know what, Kinsey has email, she's here, you know, uh, so you can find her if you need her, need some motivation, she's here. And so we're very blessed to have someone like Kinsey here. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. So Nora, Nora needs to hear you, I know. But do y'all, anybody have any off-the-cuff questions for Kinsey while we're just waiting for Nora here? Um, how long did it take before you uh, got out of school? I mean, what was that time from, from the time you first started to when you graduated or, or got your license? I mean, everybody has, you know, it took me four years, it took me three years. Yeah, well, it, what was your experience like? It took me four years, uh, but I'll, I'll tell you about it. Um, that was when I was going through school, I was working three jobs at the same time. So it wasn't like, you know, I'm, I feel that my situation was a lot different from other people that were practicing five, six hours a day. Um, it did take me four years, but um, I'm very grateful. Um, I learned a lot during those four years, and I feel that I could have finished a little bit faster had I not had three jobs uh, during school and been able to devote a little bit more time to practicing. Uh, but also, I was very, I was very, very young. I was 17 years old. And so, to me, that I had a little bit of immaturity in that time because I didn't know how fortunate I was to, you know, be living out of town and to uh, be going to school. And so the beginning of my schooling, I would say that I didn't practice as much as maybe I should have. And 
I, I'm going to move her over here. We're not going to wait for Nora because see that camera there? Because I don't want anybody right. to miss this. This is Kenzie Benoit and Kenzie. We have high school students here. Oh, awesome. Okay, how many of you are in high school? And your son, Fanny, isn't your son in high school? Yes. She has a son in high school. I think he's going to court. Uh, he's, he's taking A to Z, your son? I think that's what Miss Johnson told me. We already did. Y'all already did. They've already taken A to Z. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's several of the students here. We had one as young as 15. Okay. So uh, let me introduce Kenzie formally to you because now I'm on camera and you are too. This is Kenzie Benoit. And uh, she's going to tell you her story of how young she was and what she did to get through court reporting school and to become our national speaker. Thank you, Mary. First, I want to say hi to my clerk. She is watching this right now, and she is actually in the A to Z program with y'all. I think her name is Sylvia. And um, she was going to come tonight, but she can't be here, so I want to say hi to her. And secondly, I wanted to say, I'm sure you'll notice my cowboy boots when I walked in. This is exactly how I went to work today at the courthouse. Our judges take rodeo very seriously. They take fiesta very seriously. And so I was lucky enough to get to wear these boots to work today. So um, I wanted to tell y'all a little bit about me. My name is Kenzie Benoit, and I'm 28 years old. And I am not originally from here. I'm from Beaumont, Texas, which is about an hour and a half east of Houston. And I have wanted to be a court reporter since I was 10 years old, okay? And you're probably wondering, how does a 10-year-old know that they want to be a court reporter? Because I meet people all the time that are much older than that, that they don't even know what a court reporter is. Um, I think it was on Modern Family, they had the um, tarantula on there typing on the steno keyboard, and they can relate it to that in captioning a lot of times, but uh, most 10-year-olds don't know what this is. So I was in, at my best friend's house and I was in their computer room typing away on AIM Instant Messenger, just typing, typing, typing so fast. And my best friend's mom, who's still my best friend today, she came in there and she said, I need to take you to work to me. I need you to take, I need to take you to work with me. And I said, okay. And so I went in, I sat in a capital murder trial at 10 years old and I was just hooked. My mom, growing up, had me watching Lifetime movies from a very young age, and so I love that kind of thing. I love um, crime, not that I love crime. I love hearing how crimes are solved and things like that. I um, currently work in a criminal court, but I told my mom, um, growing up, I wanted to go to court reporting school, and I had many people along the way that would tell me you don't want to be a court reporter because voice recording is going to take over, electronics are going to take over. A lot of people really tried to deter me from doing this. And some natural disasters did too because I live right there on the border. And so um, when I was in 10th grade, I actually came to school up here, high school, because my hometown got hit so hard by a hurricane that we were displaced for three months. So I came over here and everybody told me, you should be a dental hygienist, you should do this, that. Nope, I'm gonna be in court report. Sorry, sorry, no. Uh, but they just tried to steer me in different directions other than what I really wanted to do. And um, so I was in high school and one of my little brother's uh, friends, her mom owned a court reporting firm coincidentally and so she said you've got to do this you've got to commit to this and so the closest school to me was an hour and a half away i have i think 10 cousins and i have never had a sibling cousin anything that have moved away for school or left the nest of our little tiny town and so to think that i was going to be moving and i'm the baby i have an almost august birthday and so I told my mom, I want to do this. I want to go to school for court reporting, and this is what I want to do. And so uh, my mom and my dad, um, they packed me up, and I moved to school in Houston. And uh, when I was in theory, I got really sick, like with the flu, not like right now, 